Today we are here in the museum at the Crater of Diamond State Park Visitor Center. Sometimes if you want to come and just look at the museum, it's free. You don't have to pay admission to get into this portion. It's in the visitor center. But the topic today is core drilling. And that is drilling into the ground and bringing up tubes of rock for the geologists to study. And they use a core drill bit like this. It's actually diamond tip. You can look at it and it's, it's sparkling. They use diamonds because uh, they're the hardest natural substance. Um, that's glistening at me. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll turn this and it'll glisten in the, in the light. But uh, anyway, so the drill pipe stem has this uh, drill head on it and it, it spins round and round and it cuts a tube of solid rock and brings it up and they're able to bring it to the surface for the geologists to study and record it. Um, core drilling was done here at the Crater of Diamonds a number of years ago. Uh, here's a picture of the drill set up while they were working and they wanted to determine the, the shape and size of the lamparite intrusion and this is what they determined that the lamparite, if I can get this set up because I talk with my hands, the lamparite is actually 78 acres. This is kind of the outline of the volcanic intrusion. Now there were numerous pyroclastic events. In other words, there wasn't just one volcano that made it like that. There was numerous volcanic activity. Uh, this in the green is the diamond bearing. And this is a magmatic olivine lamp right that does not have diamonds because it came up too slowly and cooled too slowly and the diamonds absorbed out of it. And this is really hard stuff where this, although it's hard, once you tear into it like with a bulldozer, it will erode and uh, decompose and soften and pretty much turn to dirt and release the diamonds that are in it. Now if you see this bunny rabbit shape here, <laughs> that is the current search territory. In other words, you're allowed to search for diamonds within this bunny rabbit. Now if you'll notice, this part of the search field from the mine shaft building north is not even diamond bearing material and should not be included in the search field. And then over here, here, <laughs> and here is more than five acres of diamond bearing soil that should be included in the search territory but isn't. I understand them not having you search here because there are no diamonds. But this should be open to public searching and this should be open to public searching and this should not. They should cut the head off of the bunny rabbit. But in talking about core, I brought some of my own here today to show you. Uh, this is samples of core drilling that was done outside the state park. This was done at the state park to determine the shape and the size of it. And what they determined is that it's funnel shaped because some timber lights are carrot shaped but this blew out like a funnel. Uh, so they wanted to know what the volume of material was, how many acres it was at the surface, you know, how, how big it was, and then also did it go straight down or did it slope? And that way they could figure the, the volume of the ore that was here at the park. Well, outside the state park, they core drilled at the Timberlands, and I was involved in the core drilling, and uh, they brought up the, these tubes of rock and the geologists studied the rock and, and these lines are calcite veins in the rock. This one has a lot of character, a lot of calcite in it. Uh, but they, they study and the geologists write down if it's a, a, a mar epiclastic or a, uh, a tuff or a uh, brescia. A brescia has angular clasps in it, but uh, these are just some of the different types of core and uh, 
Near here, about half a mile away, the deepest core drilling hole in the entire state of Arkansas in Lamperite was drilled. It went a thousand feet down at what is known as a Twin Knobs 1 intrusion, a thousand feet straight down. And they brought up beautiful core that looked like uh, diamond bearing core. This is a brescia because it has angular clasps in it, pieces of angular chunks. And that happened when the volcanic ore came up and hit the country rock, the rock that was there before the volcano, and it mixed together with the liquid uh, magma and solidified you know, into these pieces of rock. So, anyway, that's what core drilling is, and that's what you learn from it, and uh, uh, the, the size and shape of uh, the Crater of Diamonds, it really is huge. Now, although this is 78 acres, they only have 37 acres open to the public and like I said some of it shouldn't even be open to the public for searching and some of these other acres should be and here up all the way to the visitor center where we are right now this see a lot of that is out of bounds and that ought to be brought up all the way almost to the sidewalk that you go from the visitor center to the diamond discovery center they ought to take out those trees and expand that search territory that way um, a lot of diamonds would be found if they would do that.